The 13th annual Julia's Hope Cup returned to Chippewa Park in Welland, which saw participants from around the region come out to show their support for the Hope Center. Uh, we usually get about maybe 30 or 40 uh, adults playing in the adult tournament. It helps when we have ice. Today we have just, it's just almost frozen, but not quite enough, but we have ball hockey and we just, we're just happy to have a big, great community event in honor of our daughter. Where will the money go that's raised from the event today? 100% of everything that we raise goes to the Hope Center in Welland. I also want to mention that it's not just a, a hockey tournament, it's now become a carnival where we have uh, all food, all completely donated by, by uh, restaurants and businesses in Welland. And we have a silent auction. All our silent auction items are completely donated by uh, community members or businesses in Welland. It's just everything was donated, so 100% of the profits can go directly to the Hope Centre. Jen, the Hope Centre is celebrating 50 years. Tell us about the services that are offered at the Hope Centre. At the Hope Centre, we provide a lot of services to assist uh, the most vulnerable in our community. So um, the primary service that we are fundraising for today is for our food security programs. Um, so that's our food bank and our community lunch program where we serve thousands of people each month. What are your thoughts on seeing all the volunteers and participants out today to show their support for the Hope Centre? Yeah, this is my favorite event um, every year to come here and just to see so many people involved in the community and, um, you know, the spirit of compassion that everyone has here and, and the rallying around the Turner family um, and the memory of Julia. It's just, it's a beautiful event. How does it feel to see all the people out today celebrating your daughter's life? It's very, very special. Losing a child is very painful. It's been, you know, 13 years and it still hurts, but I'll tell you, an amazing community like Welland, all the support we receive and keeping her memory alive is uh, very significant to us in, in, in a healing and, and helping us get through this. So it's all good with that, yeah. A good friend of ours, Tracy Hopkins, passed away in 2015 and she was very significant in helping us out with the Julius Hope Cup. So every year since then we've honoured someone who has, uh, it's called uh, the Courage and Humanitarian Award. Our honoree is Perry Oroz. Perry Oroz was in a really, really bad car accident about two years ago, clinically was dead twice, and uh, he's now in therapy, and he's just been such a great example of uh, courage and, and what he means to our community, so we will honor him. Perry, how does it feel to be the recipient of the Tracy Hopkins Courage and Humanitarian Award? Well, it's an honor to win the award, especially when you're, it's, it's about this tournament that's been so beneficial to the community and you see how much good that this tournament does and the people involved, so it was an honor. Before the first Julius Hope Cup, Paul would raise maybe about $5,000 a year, which was fantastic for the Hope Center. And then the first time we had it with Julia's Hope Cup, we raised $35,000. Like and it was a huge snowstorm that day, and people came out because they, she really made an impact on their lives. And continually, we still have people come to us and, and, and tell us how much Julia meant to them, and that warms our heart. It really does. Thanks to all that came out to the event today, helping to raise over $50,000 for the Hope Center and to celebrate Julia Turner's life. In Welland, reporting for The Source, I'm Jennifer Wittick.